Asheville, North Carolina is changing fast. There are tons of people that are moving here. And in this video, we're gonna tell you some of the top reasons why they are moving here. We're gonna cover it all from A to Z, and at the end, we're gonna give you a little top secret tip. So one of the things that people love about Asheville the most is its proximity to nature. It is absolutely everywhere around us. We're missing the leaves right now just because of the time of the year that it's in. But we take the Blue Ridge Parkway all over the place and it is so accessible. People use it all the time to get from point A to point B. And if you wanna hop on a trail in the middle of the day on your lunch break, it's so easy to do. You can use it to get from East Asheville to South Asheville to Weaverville, all around. And that's not the only thing. The Arboretum is right there. There's also walking trails there. And right in Asheville, besides the Arboretum, we have the Biltmore Estate. And a lot of people think about the Biltmore Estate like, oh, we're just gonna go there for the day. But no, you can get an annual pass for the Biltmore Estate and there's tons of walking trails all along there and biking trails and playgrounds and absolutely super fun things to do. And not to mention all the forests that we have nearby. We have Pisca, Pisca National Forest, we have DuPont. These are where you can go hiking and there's waterfalls cascading down everywhere. It's absolutely breathtaking. And this is all within 45 minutes tops from Asheville. We're talking like a morning. You could go and be in absolutely stunning nature that people drive to get to for a week long vacation. And for us, it's just like, hey, let's just go check out DuPont this morning. If you're into mountain biking, there's Bent Creek Experimental Forest has world renowned mountain biking. There's also climbing nearby. And if you're a kayaker or a boater, you are going to be in hog heaven because there are over a hundred runnable rivers right near Asheville. I mean, within 30 minutes, 45 minutes. And we don't only run the big rivers, we run those like little creeks that are all nearby. And they're really cool and intricate. Like the Green River is not far away. People come from all over to go to the Green River. I mean, anything you can think of, it is an outdoor lover's paradise. That's why a lot of people move from places like Colorado or California as well, because they are, they just feel right at home here. And then there are the day trips. So we can't forget about that. Places like Hot Springs, one of my personal favorite places. It's 45 minutes north of Asheville. It has everything and its slogan or tagline is where Mayberry meets the Twilight Zone, which is super intriguing. The French Broad River runs right through there and there's also the Appalachian Trail goes through there and they have mineral hot springs. It's a wonderful place to go for the weekend and rent like a short term rental or a little cabin, but also you just go for the day and camp out there too. It's absolutely fabulous. If you're into horses too, we have abundant horse opportunities. <laughs> because there's a lot of people here who are into horseback riding and we have Tryon, which is about 45 minutes south of Asheville, which has the largest equestrian center. And you can even ride your, your horse at the Billmore Estate too, and they have stables there. I wanna give you an idea of how close we are um, to town with the Blue Ridge Parkway. So right behind me, you will see Tunnel Road, and then right on the other side, the Blue Ridge Parkway. Let's go see. This is it. It just goes right over a major road in Asheville. And then you have the Blue Ridge Parkway leading you to all the trails, all the waterfalls, everything accessible in nature. It's just a hop, skip and a jump away. So what happens once people get out of the nature and they have to go back into town and live the real life? How much does it cost? And is this a pro or a con for Asheville? This is a big consideration for a lot of people and it depends on where you're coming from, really. It's important to know that the cost of living in Asheville can be a little bit higher than other places. I mean, we do have amenities like a small city, like Whole Foods and Trader Joe's and really nice concerts and arts everywhere. And it comes at a price sometimes. And the next thing you wanna think about is home prices because they can seem high to some people, but you gotta think about all the amenities and the things that you get for living in Asheville. 
So it depends on where you're coming from as well. There's a lot of people that are coming from really expensive places that don't think twice about the home prices here. And despite the cost of this, people are flocking here. And there's a lot of reasons why. And we're gonna go through each one of those. So what is useful for a lot of my clients is, I'll send them the most recent Buncombe County market report, which talks about housing prices and how long homes usually stay on the market here and kind of what the overall year on year trends are. I'm happy to do that if you want to reach out. And then there are other costs, of course, like utilities, which are a little slightly higher, but nothing compared to places like uh, Hawaii or Arizona, where you're paying a lot for water things like that, it's pretty on par. Groceries are slightly higher, but again, we have all those amenities like the Whole Foods and the Trader Joe's. So we always do a mix of like Aldi and Trader Joe's. That's kind of our perfect combination that we found so far for our family. Oh, I hear a little puppy. Are you the Asheville mascot? You are? Do you know why everybody's moving to Asheville? Do you have something to do with it? But despite these costs, you know, people are still flocking here and there's a reason for it. It's that community spirit that people love. It's the friendliness of the people that you encounter daily. It is the Asheville that people moved here and that they feel the vibe from when they first arrive. And it's kind of everywhere and it's palpable. We do have public transportation. It's just not utilized as much here. We do have a bus system that runs all around the city limits. Not many people use it can get a little weird sometimes, but it is available. And then we have Uber and Lyfts and things like that as well. Our cost of healthcare is a little bit above the average uh, national level, but we have pretty good healthcare here. Taxes, North Carolina has a flat income tax and property taxes in Asheville are relatively moderate, but sales tax is a little higher than the national average. Keep in mind, we have an elaborate and vibrant dining and restaurant scene and entertainment scene. There's coffee shops all over the place. There's things to do. Most of the time when you live in Asheville, unless you live pretty far out, you're not at home anyway. You're out enjoying the, the life. You're doing your thing. It's a social place. I mean, of course, if you want to live in the country uh, on a half acre or an acre or five acres or 10 acres, you can do that too. And what's kind of fabulous and a little bit of a secret is that you can do it not far away. Not without, you don't have to drive 30 minutes away to have privacy. So this is what our team does, is we specialize in matching newcomers with communities that they want to be in. So reach out with any of the ways down below. So why else are people moving here? Why are they paying a little bit more? Well, probably has to do with the wonderful food. Asheville's known as a foodie community, and we have more breweries, breweries per capita than, I don't know. Someone called me out in another video, so I'm not sure exactly. But we have a lot of breweries, and they say that the water makes the breweries uh, want to come here. And I think it's the people. I think it's the people just like to drink beer around here. So we have that. And then, you know, a lot of places have our artisanal uh, food. Like they make their own chocolate or their cheese. There's even a gourmet potato chip place here. There's award-winning chefs too in Asheville, which we've talked about before. But there are so many great restaurants in a place that's really not that big. Because if you think about how big Asheville is, really Asheville city limits is 100,000 people, but Buncombe County is about 300,000 people. And everyone that lives in Asheville doesn't live in the Asheville city limits. There's so many other places to live and neighborhoods to be in. And that's what we help advise people on is where to live that fits your lifestyle. So when we think about restaurants in Asheville, we have such a wide variety from Southern comfort food to international food from all over, either, either even like an Ethiopian restaurant, which people have been wanting for a long time. We originally really focused on farm to table restaurants, but now we have all kinds of fusion and everything. Indian restaurants are really popular here. And what people really value here are locally sourced ingredients, things that are coming from nature that feel good and feel good in your body as well. 
because people are pretty health conscious in Asheville. It's another reason people come here is because they feel like they want to be healthy and they want to have a place that's easy to be healthy in. So you will see festivals here that focus on vegetarian and vegan fairs and that are just health food conscious places. And if you like to learn about food in general, then there's tons of culinary schools, and educational opportunities at AB Tech or UNCA uh, or their Center for Senior Resources that offer classes to take to learn how to cook or to learn how to cook certain foods. So a lot of people love that. They love having those big city amenities in a small town feel. One of Asheville's best known secrets is its music scene. So there are a ton of live music venues here in Asheville. About anywhere you go, you can find live music, which is kind of cool. And it's not just one kind of genre. Even though we're in the South, it's not like we just have country or bluegrass. You can find jazz, you can find electronic music, you can find a lot of jam bands, you can find some Grateful Dead cover bands, you can find all kinds of different stuff. And there's lots of buskers too, which is kind of fun because it just makes the downtown and the areas lively with lots of things happening and people playing spontaneous music. We also have tons of music festivals as well. So, I mean, we have the Eden Arts Festival, Shindig on the Green, there's lots of action going on. Hey. How are you doing? Good, how are you? So much music, so much fun, it's so many fun things to do in Asheville out and about and you can stay just right downtown if you want to come check it out and you want to find out which region to explore and what resonates with you. And people here don't just make music to play locally, there are lots of recording studios too. So musicians come from all over the place to record with some of the best in some of the best studios. And of course, another reason that people come here and they want to move here is because of the art scene. So art here is not just uh, in a gallery. Art is everywhere in Asheville and it's on every corner and it's in every person's eyes. It's in the jugglers. It's in the people that do comedy for a living. It's in the buskers. It's everywhere we look in Asheville, you will see art in live living form. So let's talk about weather because everybody always asks me, like, is it really gonna be a big difference? I mean, we're already in the South. The answer is, yeah, weather matters because here we have four distinct seasons. We have um, the summer, which really doesn't get that hot. If you think about it, I mean, it's mid 80s during the summer. We have a pretty mild winter too. I mean, it's usually between 30 to 50 degrees during the winter and we always wish we get a little bit more snow than we do. My kids are always a little bit disappointed in that. But right now we are in the middle of February and I don't really actually need this. It's a little bit of an overkill right now, but there are people walking around in tank tops and t-shirts and it's about 60 degrees outside and sunny. It's absolutely gorgeous. So, and then the springtime comes and erupts everywhere and the flowers and the tulips come, but fall. Fall is where we really get the most bang for the buck because I don't know what's going on with the earth here in Asheville, but here's the deal. When the fall foliage comes, it is breathtaking. You go on the Blue Ridge Parkway and it's like there are explosions of light and color and uh, just absolute fall gorgeousness. And people come from all over the place to visit us. So here's the top secret tip that I was telling you about earlier. It's proximity to everything. Okay, so let me tell you the reasons. Anywhere in Asheville that you wanna get, it's about 20 minutes. You can get from one side of town to the other side of town in about 20 minutes. You can get to the beach in four hours. You can get to major cities in two hours. Major cities like Charlotte or Knoxville. You can get to Atlanta in three and a half hours if you drive like a speed demon, but that's about right. You are close to all your heart's desires and we have a regional airport that is super easy to get in and out of. And the other thing is that we haven't talked about is if you look at that dang FEMA map that freaks some people out, you will see that we are in the light blue area. So we are a climate refuge. That's one of the biggest reasons why people are flocking here is they're doing their research and they're realizing uh, this is a good place to be if the 
beep, hits the fan. But generally, it's the quality of life that's re really drawing people here. If you want to learn why people are leaving Asheville, then click right here and I'll tell you all about it.